Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video I will show you how to paint uh, Ariadna Dog Warrior. Uh, this one is uh, from the Ariadna starter pack. Uh, in this video I will mostly use a traditional style of painting, uh, not that much washes, but I will show you how to do a cam on the pants and the worn leather on his uh, jacket. So without further ado, uh, sit back, relax and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. For the start, I primed the whole miniature with uh, Vallejo Black. Uh, I just tried here to have an even coat all around, so I don't see any metal under it. Uh, first color that we'll use, it will be Basil Grey. Uh, I will add a little water to this paint uh, on my wet palette. And then uh, I will base uh, paint with this uh, color, uh, his fur on his head. Uh, uh, I will paint the both legs and both arms uh, with this paint. Start painting on the arms and the legs uh, when you go on the areas around the muscles. Uh, you will try to leave the recesses uh, still uh, black and don't paint inside with this paint. The next color will be a deck tan. Uh, I will use this color to paint uh, like the inner side of his ears, uh, a gum in his mouth, uh, his nose, and uh, as well I will use this color to paint uh, his uh, palms and uh, his feet. Uh, don't go too much uh, into his hands uh, because you want to leave like a little transition. And when it comes to painting the hands and the feet, uh, uh, don't go inside the recesses. So just uh, paint lightly on the most raised surfaces. Uh, now I will use uh, just a German camo beer and then uh, I will wash only the areas that we painted with the previous color. Uh, so just uh, water this uh, color down on your wet palette and uh, just go around and wash them with uh, one uh, layer. And then for the second pass, uh, water this color even more and then wash everything else uh, that we painted since the beginning of this model. Uh, we will now go back to the deck tan and uh, we will start highlighting uh, like uh, his fingers, his knuckles and uh, all these veins uh, that he have on his muscles. Uh, so when you do this, uh, don't go inside the recesses, so you want uh, to focus only on the most raised areas. Uh, like here on his ears, I will just do the edges, I won't do anything inside the ears. And for the last highlights, we will use ivory. So we will do little highlights on his fur, uh, little highlights uh, on all the gum parts, uh, like on the ears, uh, uh, on his gum in the mouth. Uh, you can paint his nails with this color and uh, paint his teeth as well. Uh, just be careful when you're painting the teeth not to go inside the recesses. So just lightly go with a brush over them. And now we will create a wash 
or uh, it is more like a glaze uh, with the flat red so add this uh, paint on your wet palette and I add three or four drops of water so it it's really like transparent and then uh, just go around uh, his mouth and his ears and glaze areas around it And then to finish off the eyes, I just pick up a pure uh, flat red, just straight from the bottle. And uh, I just uh, painted the eyes inside the eye sockets. Uh, they're really well sculpted, so just use a tip of your brush and just uh, make a little uh, red dot in the middle. And now it's time to move on from the body parts to some more serious stuff. So we will start with his uh, weapons. Uh, I will use uh, white uh, and then I will start highlighting uh, his gun and his knife. Uh, I will use the edge of my brush. So I will just uh, put a paint on my brush. I will remove uh, like all the excess paint from the brush and then I will try to make the angle between uh, 45 to 90 degrees uh, with my brush towards the surface that I wanna paint and then I will start uh, pulling a little sharp lines uh, where it is not possible to make the angle uh, use the tip of your brush and then slowly pull uh, these sharp lines and uh, I will go around uh, this uh, gun and uh, I will highlight every single line uh, that I can see Now I will try to create some rust effect on the knife. So I will create a wash uh, with the smoke and then I will apply it uh, just on the cutting edge uh, of the knife in uh, like two very thin coats. So after the first coat is dried, I will apply the second wash. Uh, just uh, pay attention, it's uh, very transparent, uh, so we don't uh, cover the, all the details and the markings that we made in the previous step. And uh, for the second step of this process, uh, I will create a wash uh, with the orange brown and uh, I will do uh, same as before, a very light wash uh, around the edge of the, the brush. So as you can see, just added water and I just uh, keep around collecting the excess of the paint and uh, just doing it again. I just try to spread it evenly around and uh, try not to block all the details that we did. After this wash is dried, I will go back to white and uh, just do a little highlight on these uh, scratches that I did on the knife and uh, on little on the cutting edge and on the outer edge of the knife as well. It is just a very little highlight. Now it's time to start uh, painting his clothes and the armors. I will use a uh, khaki and uh, I will literally paint everything else on this model that we haven't painted uh, so far. So this color will be our base uh, for all the future colors that we'll apply on this model. Now I will start painting his vest. I will use the English uniform color and uh, I will just uh, base coat uh, the whole uh, vest. On his back leave the padded uh, leather areas out uh, but paint everything else.
Uh, now uh, you have to create a wash with the dark flesh tone. Uh, this is uh, air color, so it's already uh, very diluted, uh, so just add a few drops of water with it. And now I will uh, start uh, washing the recessed areas. I will try to avoid as much as I can the flat areas and the most raised areas, uh, but I will try to create the shadows on the inner areas and uh, inside the recesses uh, with this wash. Uh, next thing we are going to do is to draw some scratches uh, on his vest. So I will use a sunny skin tone and then uh, I will take my most pointy brush and I will just use the tip of the brush and go around the sharp edges and the flat areas uh, of his vest and I will create uh, little scratches. Uh, you can do uh, stippling as well, it will uh, work uh, uh, and it will have the same effect as this one. So just patiently go around and uh, draw these little sketches all over. The more you do, uh, the vest will look better. And to finish off with these scratches, I will mix 50% ivory with the sunny skin tone and uh, I will just go and enhance uh, like the biggest scratches and the one that are on the edges uh, just to give them a, a little more punch. And with that, uh, his vest is done. Uh, now we can move on on painting his armor plates. To start off, I will use uh, dark sand and then I will paint uh, the most raised areas of these armor plates that he have on his arms, uh, shoulders, uh, his knees as well. Uh, you will uh, have to apply this color in one or two very thin coats. Uh, uh, because we have a khaki color as a base coat, uh, this will be very easy to do and achieve. Only thing that I would avoid is going into the recesses, uh, because I want to leave my shadows uh, still, so I don't uh, need to do any unnecessary washes uh, or doing the shadows later. And I painted uh, all these bags and the uh, small grenade pouches that he have on his back with this paint as well. And uh, for the final highlight on these armor panels, I will use the ivory and I will just apply a very small edge highlight uh, on the edges, on the most raised areas uh, and when you go to highlight the pouches and the stuff, uh, just highlight the most raised areas, don't go inside the recesses. Uh, this is a very small highlight, uh, but it will uh, really tie everything together. Uh, since we are finished with the highlighting of these armor plates, uh, now it's time to work uh, on the shadow ones. I will use a medium sea grey and uh, I will paint the inner panels uh, of these uh, armors. I will use this color to paint uh, the, all the zippers and all the buckles and the uh, little chains that he have on his back.
Now we will go back to uh, Basil Grey. Since I already have this paint on my wet palette, I just added a little more water to it so I create a wash. And then I washed uh, these uh, inner uh, panels with this and I washed uh, all the buckles uh, and the zipper as well, just to create uh, some shadows. And to finish off uh, with this part, I will use the uh, white to apply my last highlights. So all, all these grey areas uh, inside the armor panels, I will just draw one thin line just to separate it from the shadows. And uh, all the buckles, uh, the zipper and the little chains, uh, you will just do a little edge highlight uh, on all the edges just to simulate a little reflections. And uh, now uh, we need to paint his uh, green leather straps. Uh, so I will start uh, with painting them with the refractive green. Uh, so this will be my base color for them. So I will just go very lightly over the, the previous color. Uh, just uh, don't go inside the recesses. Be careful uh, when you're painting over the areas that we already painted. So we don't need to do any reparation work later. Uh, now we will take uh, Goblin Green and uh, we will go around and start uh, doing uh, little highlights. So wherever you can, uh, you paint uh, the raised flat areas with this color, uh, wherever you can, uh, you paint uh, little edges. And uh, when it comes to the leather straps on the pouches, uh, just uh, paint the raised areas. Uh, don't go with this paint inside the recesses. Uh, now we will mix uh, a sunny skin tone uh, 6040 with the goblin green uh, to create our highlight color and then we will go all over these leather straps to do the edge highlights and then uh, wherever it's possible we will do the same little scratches as we did uh, when, while we are painting his vest. And now to create the shadows, uh, we will use a military green and uh, just uh, paint uh, the shadow areas uh, with this. So you want a little in the recesses, little on the areas that are under or that are in the shadows. So nothing too much. and the latter parts are completed. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is to paint the camo pants. So let's get over it. Uh, before uh, drawing the camouflage pattern, I will first take a German camouflage beige and I will just highlight the most uh, raised areas on the wrinkles uh, on his pants, just to create a little highlights. If you watch any of my previous videos, uh, 
how I do my camo patterns. Uh, you will be familiar with this technique. Uh, if not, uh, I will explain it again. Uh, so I will use the first color. Uh, it will be refractive green. And uh, I will draw four different patterns. Uh, first one will be a horizontal uh, line or a wave. Uh, the second one will be a horizontal line uh, with the diagonal line across it. Uh, the third one will be a splat and the fourth one will be a dot. So I will go around the pants uh, and in some decent uh, spaces between them I will apply these patterns. Uh, I will always try uh, to apply them horizontally uh, according to the surface uh, that I'm doing them on. For second wave of patterns, I will use a pure black and uh, I will go around and draw the same patterns as the previous step. Uh, I won't be afraid to overlap uh, over the other ones that I did, uh, but I won't uh, draw the same amount uh, of uh, them as before. I will make uh, a little less of them. And the last pattern uh, will be applied with the dark sand. Uh, these will be mostly dots or little splats. So don't do lines uh, with this pattern. And uh, as well, it is very advisable to overlap uh, the previous patterns that you did. And the last touch that we need to do is to shade everything. Uh, I will use the dark tone and uh, I will apply a medium wash uh, all over the pants. And uh, that will be it after it gets dried. Uh, there is no need to do any highlights uh, on the pants uh, because the texture uh, from the patterns by itself uh, will give a highlight effect. That's it, uh, after the wash is dried, uh, this model is done. I uh, will put him on some uh, scenic base that I made before. Uh, if you're interested how, I will include the, the uh, link uh, to that video in the description below. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't last it too long, but I wanted to explain like a few different stuff here. Uh, if you did, uh, please leave a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't uh, miss uh, any future content from me. I'm releasing videos uh, very often, uh, two times per week uh, on a Mondays and Fridays. And guys, if you have any comments and suggestions what would you like to see on the channel, leave them in the uh, section down below. And uh, guys, uh, stay safe, take care and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye!